Man, I got started in music just, I would probably say just as a listener, um, just growing up, it was always, you know, in the household and uh, moms and, 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 and grandma and uncles and family gatherings. Music was always a pretty focal part of just our, our getting together and our gatherings. Music professionally or just, you know, creatively in terms of expressing music myself, I probably started um, when I was just out of high school. I mean, I grew up with hip hop, so I was rapping along to you know everybody that was rapping at the time and, and, and then i started writing myself just writing as a means of expression and then you know i grew and as i found, found my own voice i began to MC and then you just get into you know music music production and engineering and, and, and pretty much all different facets of it and then that led into you know a management and tour management and so it's pretty well rounded in terms of my relationship to music. There's the business side of it, the music side of it, and just the, the regular cultural and expression side of it. So. Some of my biggest musical influences, um, th there's so many and, and they're so vast. They span, um, you know, genres, they span generations. And, and, and it's uh, everybody from, you know, Louis Armstrong to, you know, Cab Calloway, Duke Ellington, you know, Billie Holiday to, you know, Ray Charles, Quincy Jones, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, James Brown, Sly and the Family Stone, and, you know, to more contemporary stuff, from Prince's, Michael Jackson's, and, and then, of course, all the hip hop that came, you know, the, the Forefathers, Cool Herc, Bam, Run DMC, you know, Treasures 3, Cool Mo D, Grandmaster Flash, Furious 5. It's just, it's just on and on, you know. I love all types of music, all types of genres, you know. I like the Who. Just as much as I like, you know what I'm saying, Nas, you know what I'm saying, or, or or The Cure, you know what I'm saying, the same way that I might like The Goody Mob, you know what I mean? So it, as long as it moves me, you know, music is music, you know, and I got that from Bob Marley. So definitely to making, you know, music. Any artist that I could work with uh, today that I may not have worked with, um, living or alive, I mean, alive or dead or just living? <laughs> if it's living, um, as, as an MC, it, it, I, it would be interesting to work with Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? Um, and just because of his creative process, not because, you know, I'm like caught up in like whole mania or anything like that, but just because I respect, you know, uh, the, the, the intuitive and spontaneous, you know, nature and how he creates. So just being able to like be in a session with him you know, hear him like vibe out to a beat and then build something from the ground up, that would be kind of dope. Somebody that is not here, uh, man, probably Jimi Hendrix, you know what I mean? I mean, same kind of thing, he was just, he, he, he's from Seattle, for one, and that's where I'm from. He's out there, you know what I'm saying? He revolutionized music, so, it would be interesting to, to, to kind of tap into his creative process, his thought process, and see, you know, where he may have taken music if he had the opportunity to still be living. So I see Jimi Hendrix and Jay-Z, maybe get them on the same track. Uh, what I got listening in my iPod right now, I'm listening to um, U Roy, original, uh, original DJ. Uh, Jamaican um, selector, um, one of the first, you know, uh, DJs to, to chat and toast over mics. I'm listening to like his dub collection. I'm listening to uh, Sade's greatest hits. Um, I'm listening to my man Vitamin D and Jake One's instrumentals. Uh, my man, a young, a young cat from Seattle named Jay Pender. I'm, I'm bumping his stuff heavy. That's that's what's in like what I listened to this morning. But you know, my iPod is filled up with a whole bunch of stuff, man.